Hey guys, it's Brooke with Super Tutor TV, and today I'm going to tell you how to self study for the SAT math subject test. If you haven't already, I recommend that you subscribe to our channel, comment on this video, and give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please support us. We totally appreciate it. Thank you very much. So first, just to clear up things, sometimes people don't know which test to take. Basically, if you've taken pre-calculus, most competitive colleges like to see the level two test. So if you're prepared for that, that's the one that usually makes the most sense to take. But if you're not prepared for that and you haven't taken through pre-calculus, you can take the math level one test, which goes through algebra two. So now let's get into how to study for this thing. Well, the problem the process is very similar to what I've told you guys before in my SAT videos and my ACT videos, and it all starts off with taking a practice test. The complication here is the College Board doesn't actually give away free practice tests for this exam, unlike the official SAT or ACT. There are some free practice questions that you can get online at College Board but you can't get a full test, so you're going to have to buy it. I recommend that you get this book. What is in here is two copies of full-length previously administered mathematics tests for both the level one and level two. So step one, take practice tests from in there, grade it, and then step two is go over what you missed and make a list. What should be on your list is every type of problem that you missed and basically a laundry list of areas for you to review in terms of content. Okay, so you wanna take that list and let's say you missed a matrix multiplication question because you totally forgot how to multiply matrices. Well then the next step is to go and get a textbook. Essentially, this test, unlike the SAT math or even the ACT math, it resembles the kind of problems that you do in math class a little bit more than those other tests do. And as a result, sometimes the best thing that you can do for yourself in order to get prepared for this is to actually go back to your math book. You might scratch your head and say, but wait a minute, I don't have my textbooks. Uh, I took pre-calculus last year, I took algebra two the year before, I'm in calculus now, I don't have those books anymore. How the heck am I supposed to review in my math book if I don't have them anymore? Well, there's several resources that you could turn to if that's the case. Besides younger brothers and sisters, uh, your school library might have copies of the exact books that you used, and you might be able to go there and ask them if you could check them out. Your old math teacher might be willing to loan you a copy for a couple of weeks while you study for the SAT subject tests. You might be able to go to your regular old local library and find a copy of one of these books. Next, you could also go to Amazon.com, has a lot of textbooks uh, that are used that are pretty cheap, especially if you don't go with the most recent edition, or you can get on the internet and Google pre-calculus textbook PDF, and you're probably gonna find some pre-calculus textbooks that people have written, sometimes it's teachers have written randomly, so they might not be your McGraw-Hill or your standard fare of uh, classic high school textbooks, but you might be able to find a pre-calculus textbook where you can go in, and the idea is you wanna go to those chapters that are on the same topics as the questions that you missed, and then do a refresher for yourselves. The intent of this test is to measure what you learned in your classes. So overall, these kind of problems are trying to test things that you're supposed to have done in your math class, and therefore, to review them, that's a great place to start, okay? After you've done that, then I recommend that you take more mock tests and also turn to more of the prep resources that are more traditional prep resources, meaning they're books written especially for the math level one and two tests. You are not gonna get very far with strategy in this book because the College Board doesn't give you much strategy at all. You're going to need to turn to other brands and other authors. I know a lot of people wanna know like, what's the best book? And here's the problem with these SAT subject tests. And it's a universal problem with SAT subject tests across the board in almost every subject. There are only two released tests in the universe from this test. So what that means is we have a really small sample set of problems from which to choose. And so what inevitably happens is the test you're gonna take isn't gonna be identical to this. It's gonna draw on areas that are similar to these but may not be identical. And so all these different brands are guessing at what's going to be on the test a little bit. And the thing is, is they all guess a little bit differently. So the best thing for you to do is to mix up your brands a little bit so that you get all your bases covered. I recommend maybe getting one or two from like an independent tutor, and then you can get one or two from some of these brands that have been around for a while and mix up your prep a little bit so that you have uh, a few different sources of practice tests. So that's about it. That's basically the study plan. You take a practice test, you go over what you missed, you learn what you missed, and then you take another practice test, and then you rinse and repeat. It's the same process that I told you guys for the regular SAT with a few little differences because the nature of the test is a little bit different from the SAT. We have 
less released information on it. And it's also a little bit more similar to your classroom work. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And if you're taking SAT subject tests or applying to college, we've got lots more videos for you guys to check out. So I recommend you do that. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time on Super Tutor TV.